SpaceX is trying to achieve another successful launch of its Starship rocket later this summer. The previous launch resulted in damages that required repairs to the launch pad and even led to a lawsuit. Nevertheless, despite these challenges, SpaceX has achieved remarkable and outstanding progress in its upcoming launch campaign. One standout accomplishment is the implementation of the revolutionary hot staging technique, which plays a pivotal role in the separation process of Starship. Not only that, crucial tests with the booster have reached critical final milestones. Stay tuned as we dive into this and lots more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. SpaceX's modification process for Starship has entered its final period. They're diligently working day and night to address and improve any issues that led to past explosions and enhance the performance of their reusable rocket. One of the new techniques that SpaceX is implementing for the second launch attempt is called hot staging. Elon announced this change during a Twitter space event, explaining that the upper stage of Starship will ignite its engines while still attached to the super heavy booster. This approach, commonly used in Russian launch vehicles like the Moon Rocket N1, allows for more efficient separation between stages. To accommodate this technique, SpaceX is modifying the Super Heavy Booster with additional vent holes and shielding to facilitate the efficient exhaust of the upper stage. Recent images of Booster 9's movement have yet to show the modified vent holes. We can speculate that SpaceX's plan for Booster 9 after a successful test to ensure comprehensive stability is to roll it back to the build site to complete the installation. On the other hand, Starship Gazer recently discovered a new booster hot staging section at Starbase and it differs from previous renderings. Well, it looks different, but it doesn't seem like much. This new design has less material but provides more space, allowing for the incorporation of stringers with the forward section of the booster. Additionally, the new design has a better shape possibly with a horizontal brace halfway down or inclined struts inside each notch to divert flow and provide structural strength. The cross-section of each strut would resemble a triangle pointing towards the center of the thrusting rocket, creating a twisting effect. Thanks to the space engineer for this awesome rendering. This helps us to understand more clearly about the hot stage ring changes. The hot staging technique is indeed an intriguing development that we can eagerly anticipate being implemented quickly. Starship's engine exhaust is extremely hot and powerful, and cutting slots in a thin cylinder would weaken its strength. Therefore, the new expansion must meet specific criteria. It should have minimal obstruction to exhaust, prevent fuel mixture buildup, be lightweight, rigid enough to support Starship's weight, resistant to immediate damage from the exhaust, and provide some protection for the exposed end of the booster. Because of these challenges, the hot staging concept represents a groundbreaking advancement in rocket design that's got the potential to revolutionize spaceflight. Unlike traditional staging where rockets are sequentially jettisoned and ignited, hot staging involves igniting the next stage's engines while attached to the previous stage. This means that the upper stage's engines fire up before the lower stage separates, providing a seamless transition between stages. The final hot stage assembly that will be integrated with Booster 9 is a new generation prototype which gives it some distinct advantages. One of the critical advantages of hot staging is the potential to significantly increase payload capacity. Musk said, describing the switch to hot staging, there's a meaningful payload to orbit advantage with hot staging that's conservatively about a 10% increase. By eliminating the need to carry additional hardware for stage separation and ignition, more space and waste can be allocated to cargo, satellites, or crew, allowing for greater efficiency and cost-effectiveness in launching missions. Another benefit of hot staging lies in its potential for rapid and frequent launches. Traditional staging requires time-consuming post-separation maneuvers and distance between stages to ensure safe ignition, limiting the frequency of launches. With hot staging, there's no interruption in thrust during the transition, enabling quicker turnaround times in between missions and a higher launch cadence. However, this hot staging technique also comes with certain requirements. To implement hot staging successfully, SpaceX must ensure that the upper stage is adequately shielded from the exhaust gases of the lower stage's engines during ignition. This protection is crucial to prevent any damage to the upper stage during this critical phase of the launch. Currently, the hot staging structure is still in the process of preparation and installation. With SpaceX's innovative approach, this is a noteworthy technical achievement deserving of praise. Not only is SpaceX making significant advancements in hot staging, but the company also continues to make remarkable strides in the development of its ambitious Starship project. 
including the recent progress of Boosters 9 and 10. Booster 10 completed cryogenic testing at Massey on July 19th. On the 24th of July, Booster 9 underwent a critical full cryo test. During this test, approximately 3,000 tons of liquid nitrogen or LN2 or a combination of LN2 and liquid oxygen were pumped into the tanks. Standing at about 69 meters tall and 9 meters wide, it took about two hours to fill the Super Heavy's tanks with the amount of cryogenic propellant equivalent to half an Olympic-sized swimming pool. As usual, the extremely cold LN2 was minus 320 Fahrenheit or minus 196 Celsius, and it rapidly chilled the 4 millimeter thick steel tanks of the booster to cryogenic temperatures, freezing the moisture directly from the humid Texas air and coating nearly the entire exterior of the Super Heavy with a layer of frost and ice. After completing the filling process, SpaceX promptly drained the fuel from Booster 9. The successful test resulted in the cancellation of any road closures scheduled afterwards. This demonstrates its readiness for the next stages of testing. The company didn't hesitate to share these amazing moments, displaying the immense scale and engineering marvel of the two Super Heavy boosters. Propellant load tests recently completed for Starship Super Heavy boosters 9 and 10. In the stainless steel rocket's development and testing, a propellant load test stands as a crucial milestone. The primary objective of the propellant load test is to thoroughly assess and validate the rocket's propellant system's performance and integrity. It serves as a critical check to ensure that all components related to propellant handling, such as the tanks, valves, and pumps, are all functioning correctly. By subjecting the rocket's propellant system to real-life conditions, including the extreme stresses of liftoff and flight, the test helps identify any potential issues or weaknesses. This information is invaluable in making necessary adjustments and improvements to guarantee a safe and efficient launch. Soon the static fire test will take place and play a crucial role in assessing the booster's readiness for its eventual mission. SpaceX has strategized to utilize Booster 9 as the primary propulsion system for Starship's SN25's journey to orbit. However, to ensure readiness, Booster 10 has been designated as a backup option in case 9 encounters any issues during pre-flight tests. Having two boosters available allows SpaceX to accelerate the development of the rocket ship system, ensuring progress isn't hindered by potential setbacks. At the Starbase factory, engineers have been actively constructing multiple Starships and rockets, all of which will undergo similar testing and flight evaluations. These rigorous tests aim to refine and perfect the launch vehicles, bringing them to a space-ready state capable of launching both cargo and crew into orbit. Despite some remaining tasks for the second orbital flight, SpaceX is still excitedly moving forward. However, the company is still waiting a spaceflight license from the FAA before proceeding with the launch. The regulatory approval is crucial to ensure safety and compliance with the required standards for spaceflight operations. As we all eagerly await the results of the static fire tests, the excitement and anticipation continues to grow. SpaceX on the brink of achieving yet another groundbreaking milestone in its journey to the stars. The company's relentless pursuit of innovation and progress fills us all with optimism for the future of space exploration in the years ahead. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.